Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 110 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, this movie really is going to answer many of the burning questions from The Force Awakens, as well as creating brand new questions at the very beginning of Episode 9 that will be answered at the very end of this movie. Now, in case you guys did not know, uh, John Williams, all right, his brother Don Williams actually said that every single theme of the Skywalker saga will be inserted into the Rise of Skywalker in some way, shape, or form. And that, to me, I think is a big surprising aspect of Episode 9 is to see exactly how things really will unfold as all of the themes begin to play from start to finish of this movie. Now, on top of all of this, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and all thanks to John Williams himself he was actually able to talk very briefly about what he thinks about the ending of the rise of Skywalker and how he feels the audience is going to react to it all now this is what John Williams had to say now he states JJ Abrams is directing a new film and I believe he is doing a fantastic job and I won't say anything of spoiling the ending but it will just put you all away I think you will all love it. So that's what John Williams had to say about the ending of the rise of Skywalker. And when we look at it, about, you know, when we look everything about it in this sense, we do know that JJ is really trying to change, you know, the Star Wars franchise and the Star Wars lore to the point where within the third act of episode nine, it's really going to take fans by surprise. Now that's the thing about JJ Abrams is that he set everything up in The Force Awakens and everything will unfold in The Rise of Skywalker in unique and original and unexpected ways. I don't know if you guys recall, but a couple of months ago we actually learned that George Lucas was also heavily involved with the very ending of Episode 9. I mean, we are talking the final frames of this movie. Even Kevin Smith, by the way, when he was on set, the crew actually told Kevin Smith that the very ending of Episode 9 will melt your mind. And it had to do with the actual set of the movie. Now, that really does pique my interest. This could have something to do with the familiar planet like let's say for example Coruscant or Tatooine or any other planets in the prequels and there were the originals while also mixing in something very big that's going to take fans by surprise. Now one thing about episode 9 is that this movie from start to finish in case you guys did not know is going to have a revelation after the other. Even Yunus Watamo, the man who portrays Chewbacca stated that the entire movie is a I did not see this coming moment and that really is a big deal because J.J. Abrams is really trying to go out with a bang in this movie. Now, Kelly Marie Tran, when she was actually speaking to all the correspondents over at D23, uh, she actually said that this movie is very, very long. That's how she views it, at least. So that would tell us that this movie is going to be the longest Star Wars film in the Skywalker saga's history. Does that necessarily mean it's going to be three hours? Very possible. Just a couple of days ago, we went over the hints and or indicators of it, in fact, being a three hour long film because John Williams has a lot more to do, a lot more, you know, music to actually record, around 80 minutes worth. So with that being said, we do know that John Williams is working very hard on this movie. He's also recording a lot of music that will be dedicated to the upcoming final trailer for The Rise of Skywalker. And let me just say this. I mean, I cannot wait to see exactly how it's all going to wrap up, how J.J. is going to end the Skywalker saga between both Luke, Leia, Lando Calrissian, Rey, Kylo, Palpatine, all of these characters that a lot of people have gotten used to. I'm just crossing my fingers that they do something fantastic with both characters of Rey and Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo. At the very end, we are talking the final frame of The Rise of Skywalker by J.J. Abrams. Now, on top of all this, we do know that Episode 9 is going to be a very emotional movie. It's going to have a lot of tragedy involved, a lot of sacrifices and losses, which could very well mean that there are going to be quite a number of deaths in this movie. That could very well point to, you know, Chewbacca's death, Orlando's death, etc. You know, that I think is going to upset fans if that happens, without a doubt, but keep in mind that this is the end of the Skywalker saga. You know, through Disney and Lucasfilm's point 
point of view, there's no if, ands, or buts. This is the last movie of this saga before they move on to the new saga, the new mythology. That's, a, that's all going to be written by, of course, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, set in a different era of the Star Wars franchise that fans haven't seen before in live-action form. So that's another thing to look forward to as well, is to see exactly what the new mythology is going to look like and how it's going to change Star Wars forever. So, like I say, guys, I think that what JJ's putting together seems pretty interesting and fantastic so far. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>